That's the tagline of this video. The 26th year will be the year. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I turned 26. So I thought I would give y'all a video of the 26 books that I want to read for my 26th year on this earth. I'm not gonna lie to you, I pretty much just looked at my shelf and picked out 26 books, the first ones that I saw that I was like, ooh, I really wanna read those but I haven't yet. So I'm not gonna say that these are in any particular order or if they really truly are the 26 books that I wanna read the most but they are the first 26 books on my never-ending shelves that I have not read that caught my attention this time around. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have in my pile is The Poppy War by R.F. Quang. This is actually my friend Nicole's book that I borrowed from her and I let her borrow like 20 of my books in exchange for this book and The Dragon Republic because everybody has been raving about this book and this series saying how incredible it is. I want to be a part of the bandwagon so I have had this in my possession for a couple months now and just haven't picked it up yet. So hopefully in my 26th year of life, will be the time that I will pick this up and finish it. Next book I have is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Literally a week ago I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by this author and I am obsessed with it. I loved it so much. I also really loved Daisy Jones and the Six so I just feel like I vibe with her writing style and I like her books so I'm going to read this one and hopefully it's a five out of five star read for me. Fingers crossed that that's actually true but I am very excited because I haven't heard anything really bad about this book either. Next up is one that I'm a little bit ashamed of that I haven't read it yet, but I am always so far behind on this bandwagon, but it is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I finally finished The Mortal Instruments like last year I want to say, so it just makes sense that I need to finish The Dark Artifices, actually start it, not finish it. Also finish it but start it so that I can move on to her new trilogy that is coming out which I have the first two books for the chain of gold and chain of iron I have those two I don't have the third one I don't think it's even out yet it, if it is a trilogy I don't know she writes so many books but the point is that the dark artifices needs to be finished in my 26th year of life or I'm gonna be really mad at myself next up is one that I actually received in the mail like a couple days ago but I am so excited about it it was kind of what triggered this whole video because I was looking at my shelves and I was like Ooh, I really want to read that book but it is Little Thieves by Margaret Owens. I just think that this premise sounds really cool and I also got artwork in the book that I just think is stunning and just makes me want to read it even more but it's a retelling of The Goose Girl which I read another retelling of The Goose Girl. I want to say that it was called thorn but it was okay I think I gave that book a 3.5 but I just feel like I'm gonna vibe with this one a lot more because it's Margaret Owens could be very wrong but hopefully I'm not. Next up is another retelling. It is one that has been on my TBR for what feels like a thousand years now, so what better time than my 26th year to actually read this. But it is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kammer. I just read Defy the Night and it is probably one of my favorite books of the year, so I figured why not read another one of her books. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but like I said, I loved Defy the Night, so I saw this book on my shelf and I was like, vibed with that one, hopefully we'll vibe with this one time to read it. Next up is one that people have been telling me I need to read for the longest time now because it is a very beloved trilogy on booktube but it is Scythe by Neil Schusterman and like I said just everybody has been telling me to read this series and I have just been putting it off and putting it off so maybe this year is the year. It was in my 21 books to read in 2021 video and clearly it is now October 2021 and that has not happened so Maybe the 26th year will be the year it happens. Who knows, though? Next up is one purely for nostalgia. It is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I was a huge fan of The Hunger Games when it came out. I know a lot of people say this is not good, but we're doing it for the nostalgia, you know, because I'm getting old. We want to feel young again so I don't feel like a grandma that I am. I go to bed at 9 p.m. now, people. It's a lot. 
to take in when I used to go to bed at 2am and now I can barely stay up past 7.30. So, nostalgia. Next up is another one that is solely author based. It is The Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I just finished Vespertine by this author. I also read Sorcery of Thorns. I really, really liked Sorcery of Thorns. Vespertine, I gave, I think, 3.5. Sorcery, I gave 4.5. So I just want to see what I think of this book. I also have just heard really good things about it and your girl loves herself some fae so I'm here for it. I'm ready. Next up I have Legend Born by Tracy Dion. This is another one that I have just heard such good things about on booktube so I just feel like I need to join that bandwagon and actually pick it up because I have had this for a while. My boyfriend Will picked it up for me like back in I want to say May. It was my present for getting my first COVID shot because I'm terrified of needles. And so it was like, a, congratulations, you didn't freak the fuck out because he's the best and knows the way to my heart. So uh, I've had this for a while and just haven't picked it up because I'm intimidated because it's a chonker. Next up is one that I've actually started already. I am 30 pages into this book and just have not picked it up since then, but it's Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Warrigal. I picked it up for a five-star reads prediction book like two years ago and it's literally been sitting under my camera since then and clearly I just need to restart it because I don't even remember what happened in the first 30 pages but this is like a thriller and it's like similar to the Gypsy Rose case which I was really intrigued by when it was going on. Next up is another booktube darling that a lot of fantasy readers are really big on. It is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss and I feel like I am the only person on booktube who has not read this. It was like huge when I first started in like 2014. I don't remember when I started. A long time ago, like six years ago. I still have yet to read it and pick it up, but I know that a lot of people really enjoy it, so I really like how floppy this one is, so I kind of feel like I need to read it soon just so I can flop it around. Next up is Only Human. This is by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is the third book in the Sleeping Giants trilogy that I really liked. I listened to it on audiobook and it was so stinking good, so I am just waiting to get it on audiobook book so that I am able to listen to it. I'm not gonna lie, it has come into my library like seven times for me to listen to it and I just don't do it because I have other books that I'm listening to and then it expires then I have to go back on the waiting list. So this one is like purely my own fault but I am intrigued because I really did like the first two in the series so I kind of do want to know how it ends. Next up another booktube darling but it's one that's a middle grade. It is Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This was big with How to Train and your Gavin and Jade. I want to say her booktube is JD Reads, but I could be wrong. But they're like the British booktubers. They're the big ones. But they loved this book and raved about it when it first came out. And I think there's like seven in the series or something ridiculous now. It's probably a trilogy, but in my head there's seven. Next is another solely author-related choice for me, but it is The Chosen by Taran Mathru. They wrote the Novice series, which I really loved back in I want to say it was like 2016 when I read their books, but I remember the author explaining that series as like a Pokemon inspired Digimon kind of situation and I ended up loving it. This is a new series by them. There's also two other books in the series I want to say. I'm intrigued just because it's Terrain Mathrow, but I do want to read it because I loved their first series, so this is their new one. We got to see how different it is from the first. Next up is Amanda Foodie and Christine Lynn Herman, All of Us Villains. This one is solely because of Amanda Foody. I read their Ace of Spades, whatever that series is actually called. I loved it. Amanda Foody is one of my favorite authors, so when I saw that they had a new book, I was like, need it in my life. But this one actually like recently came out in, oh, it's not even out yet, November 2021. So this is an ARC version of it. So I mean, that's my excuse for why I have not read this, even though nobody has read this unless they got an arc so I don't feel as bad about this one but it's similar to the Hunger Games but like Mafia so like I think it's gonna be pretty cool so I'm here for it. Next up is another series that is very beloved on booktube it is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I have the first three 
in the series. I believe there is a fourth one, like the mask falling or something like that, which I do not own yet because I have not started this one. So I was like, I'm not going to splurge on a $35 book when I don't even know if I like this yet. I found the third book in a dollar store in my town. So that kind of made me buy the first two because I was like, oh, I have this book. And I had no idea that it was the third book in a series. And then I discovered that it was like this beloved thing on booktube. So I was like, oh, I should probably find the other two books. So I I did end up finding them and then the fourth one came out and I still have not read this so we're very behind on the times but hopefully like I've been saying the 26th year is the year it all goes down. Next up is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. I really enjoyed the first two books in the Red Queen series. Have I completed that series? No, I need to read the third and fourth books. I do own them so those should probably be on this list but I tried not to pick too many sequels because then I could have been going on about Throne of Glass and uh, the Red Queen and God's Grave and like so many others, uh, the third Grisha book. So I tried to stay away from that, but this doesn't count because it's a new series. So next up is a book that a lot of people have not heard of as far as I know, but it is Hangman by Jack Heath. This one is like a serial killer book, but the serial killer works with the FBI so that he's able to kill people. It's like the exchange, he's allowed to kill somebody if he helps solve cold cases. It seems really interesting. It's an Australian author and I just think it sounds like fascinating. So this has been one that I have been saying I'm gonna read for the longest time. The author actually sent it to me uh, apparently in 2018 according to his signature. So I am so sorry, Jack, but 26th year will be the year. Next up is Heart of Flames, Nikki Palpatro. This is the second book in the Crown of Feathers trilogy. I know I just said I tried not to pick sequels, but like Crown of Feathers was one of my favorite books last year. So this one just scares the shit out of me because it is so thick, but I really want to see the two main characters again because I have crushes on both of them. So I just need to see where they end up, honestly. Next up is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. It is a Splintered by A.G. Howard. I have like, the five books in this series. There might be a sixth one now, not really sure, but I do own the majority of them and they've just been sitting on my shelf since like 2014 so like girl let's go read these this is one that was like super popular when i first started booktube a thousand years ago whenever that was 2014 20 13. I don't know, but a long time ago. Then I have And I Darken by Kirsten White. This is another one that has been on my shelf for a thousand years. This is another one that was huge on booktube in like 2018, I want to say, but uh, this is a Vlad the Impaler retelling, and I have just been putting it off because I own the first two books, but not the third one, so I've been like waiting to find the third one so I can binge it. Who knows when that will actually happen? Clearly not anytime soon. Then I have Crier's War by Nina Barella. The second book came out like last year or this year, not 100% sure. This was 2019, so clearly we are very behind on the times. I've heard nothing but good things about this book and it's also very gay apparently, so you know your girl's here for it. So. Next I have another one that was from my five star predictions book that I still have not read, but it is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. This is an eating disorder book. I am very into psychology and eating disorders is just something that really fascinates me. I know it's weird, it's just the way I am, but I've heard from Julia Sapphire that this book is like really good. So she was actually the one that recommended it to me. So I was like, should probably check it out. So, you know, it's uh, been on my TBR for a while now. So hopefully uh, the 26th year will be the year. That's the tagline of this video, the 26th year will be the year. Next, I have Belle Revolt. This is by Lindsay Miller. Honestly, no idea what this book is about. I do remember it being on my most anticipated releases books when it first came out. So I did know what, what it was about then, but now, two years later, could not tell you. You know, I could read the synopsis, but I'm not going to because we like surprises, but we're down for the cover. And I just remember it being like very popular, like being hauled on booktube, but then nobody actually like read it and talked about it. So the 26th year of my birth will be everybody else's year to read this book as well. Next, I have 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. I read The Hating Game, absolutely fell in love with it. So it's only right to read the next book. I also believe that this was a book that was on my 21 books to read for 2021 video. So we got three more months. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, people. And then the final book that I hope to read in my 26th year of life is 
Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. This is one that Madison Mary read and absolutely loved and I just absolutely love Madison Mary so I trust her opinions and I usually have pretty similar tastes with her if she tells me I'm gonna like a book I usually do so. Alright everybody so those are 26 books that I want to read in my 26th year of life since it is my 26th birthday today. Figured I would share with you guys. Please let me know down below which ones you think I should read first, which ones like you know I can pass on and prioritize other ones. Let me know. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.